Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> I'm getting very much annoyed because I've already filmed this video and it just keeps cutting me off because I'm using my phone and I have to keep stopping because I have no storage on my phone. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, love to see you here. Love to see you back if you're a returning viewer. <laughs> um, but anyways, today I'm going to be doing, or today I'm going to be taking some style, some style aesthetic quizzes. Um, if you know me, you know I don't really have a style, a particular style. Um, I feel like I'm kind of like basic, but also sometimes I'll put on something that's not basic. But anyways, I feel like I don't really have a style. I just kind of wear whatever I want. So today I'm going to be taking quizzes to see what my true aesthetic style is. <laughs> um, but first, I want to, I guess, give you guys a little story on how I got into fashion and what made me want to create videos like this and um, do YouTube and TikTok or whatever. <laughs> um, and also, like I say in every video, if you hear any noise in the background, it's Lokai, my puppy, my dog, so sorry. Um, that's the story of how I got into fashion. Um, so in college, I'm a recent college graduate, by the way. In college, um, I worked at a place called Plato's Closet. And if you know what Plato's Closet is, great. If you don't, it's basically, basically a consignment store that sells or resells used clothing items. Um, and you get a percentage of money back depending on how well the item looks or the condition that it's in. Working there made me realize I really enjoyed fashion and styling clothes and putting my own spin to it. So that's how I got into it. Um, but because I worked there, I feel like I didn't really establish a style because I was always trying different things. Um, basically experimenting with stuff. And if I didn't like it, I would either sell it back or give it away or do whatever. So. I feel like that's led to me not really having a style or a particular style or whatever. But I just kind of want to see what my true style is and what it is that I feel like I might look good in. So today I'm going to be taking two separate quizzes and then at the end of the video, I'm probably going to style an outfit that relates to the aesthetic that they give me the quizzes. Okay. So let's get started. So I have two quizzes that I'm going to be taking and I'm also going to be screen recording it off of my old phone, which is this one. Um, so you guys can follow along with me. I'm going to place it over here somewhere. Well, this is the only place it can go. So I'm going to place it over here. Okay. Oh, also this first quiz is called What is my fashion style? And it's by brainfall.com. Question one. What kind of shirt do you wear the most? T-shirts, dress shirt, tank tops, anything really. I'm going to go with anything really because it doesn't really matter to me. Question two. Does your style relate to your lifestyle? No. Yes, it works. Yes, it relates to work. Yes, it relates to my interests. Yes, it relates to my health. Um, I'm going to say yes, it relates to my interests because I pick out anything that I find interesting. No matter if I could wear it to a job or to a casual event or whatever. <laughs> um, what colors do you wear most frequently? Dark colors, neutrals, bright colors, any color. I'm going to go with neutrals because you can't go wrong with neutrals. So neutrals. Question number four. What type of shoes do you wear most often? Platforms or boots? Flats, heels, or loafers, sandals, or slip-ons, and then sneakers. Um, this is kind of a hard one because I recently, about two or three years ago, I recently got into platform shoes and boots, and my favorite boots are my Doc Martens. So, but I've always loved sneakers, like always so i guess if i had to go with one it would probably be sneakers just because i feel like i wear those well honestly i don't know i'm gonna 
gonna go with sneakers. I'm gonna go with sneakers because I feel like everybody in my life would probably say sneakers. <laughs> um, what kind of bottoms do you prefer to wear? Jeans, lounge pants, leggings, shorts, skirts and slacks, or anything that I think looks good. To be honest, anything that I think looks good because I like skirts. I love I love long skirts, but I also love short skirts. And that's a recent thing though that I found out like. I love skirts and I used to not like skirts. I wouldn't really like to wear a dress, but a skirt, I'll put on a skirt now. So I'll put anything that I think looks good. Um, what question are we on? Question six. What kind of accessories do you prefer to add to outfits? Patches, studs, chains, scarves, statement pieces, or bags, sunglasses, or Fitbit hair type gym bag? Um Not sunglasses because I wear glasses, so I don't really have the opportunity to wear sunglasses. Now, I have sunglasses, but I can't really wear them because I wear glasses. Um, scarf statement pieces and bags. I don't wear scarves, but I, I guess a statement. I don't really have too many statement pieces either, but a bag, I'll put on a bag. I like bags. Or patches, studs, and chains. I don't wear that either. So I'm going to go with scarf statement pieces and bags. Okay, question seven. How do you plan an outfit? Throw on whatever is most comfortable. Throw on whatever looks the coolest. According to the next day schedule. According to exercise routine. According to the next day schedule, of course. Who wouldn't do that? Um, question eight. Uh, which stores are you most likely to buy from? Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, H&M, New York & Company, Michael Kors Express, Hot Topic, Zoomies, Thrift Stores, Lululemon, Nike, Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> I hate that they paired Hot Topic, Zoomies, and Thrift Stores because Thrift Stores, I feel like, doesn't even go in that category. But that's where I would normally shop because I like thrifting. But if I had to pick... Well, also, Forever 21 and H&M and Urban Outfitters. Honestly, I don't shop from Urban Outfitters, but I also, it fits the vibe of Forever 21 and H&M, but it's also, I feel like, more pricier than H&M and Forever 21. But I I do often shop from Forever 21 and H&M, so I guess I'll do that. But this pairing is not really good. So I'll put it Forever 21 Urban Outfitters and H&M. <clears throat> Question nine. How do you like your clothes to fit? Flattering, whether loose or snug, comfortably, doesn't matter as long as the aesthetic is achieved, snug but flexible. Comfortable, comfortably. And last question, number 10. How do you like to present yourself or describe your personal style? Edgy and fun, late back, active, trendy, or chic? Ooh. Mm. Wouldn't say active. <laughs> Probably not late back, although it can be laid back. Trendy or chic or edgy and fun? I don't know. I feel like edgy and fun... I feel, okay, I think I'm going to go with trendy or chic because that's, that's probably more like me. So trendy or chic and submit. <laughs> okay. It says my fashion style is preppy. Okay. You lean toward a more classic sense of style with a classy or academic twist. Even on a casual lunch date, you are a show suffer and attract the attention of everyone. Style clues, argyle, sweater vests, classics, silhouettes, pleated skirts, peak coats, heels, loafers, barrettes, solid colors. Honestly, this is not, this isn't bad because I feel like one of the styles I do lean towards is a preppy style. I definitely love sweater vests. I like, um, I do like pleated skirts, but I only have, I guess, one pleated skirt, but I do wear plaid skirts. I do like those a lot, which I feel like are kind of similar. Loafers, I 
do have a pair of loafers that I love <laughs> and definitely solid colors. I do like solid colors, especially neutral solid colors like white, beige, brown, um, black. So yeah, I mean, this isn't bad. This isn't, this actually kind of sounds like me. So <laughs> it's not off, it's not off by a lot. So now would I call myself preppy? No, but this is a style that I have done several times. So I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so for the second quiz, um, this quiz is by Visual Therapy and it's just called Style Type Quiz. <laughs> Question one, if we open your closet, what color, color, oh my gosh. Question one, if we open your closet, what color palette will we most likely see? Basics such as navy, white, khaki, charcoal, or brown, black, and neutral, a rainbow of colors, earth tones, black, with touches of both colors. Um, probably black and neutral. Probably black and neutral. Or it could also be basic such as navy, white, charcoal. We'll, we'll do black and neutrals. <laughs> Um, how would your friends describe you? Traditional and proper, sharp and direct, playful and spirited, relaxed and liberal, innovative and forward, forward thinking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm sharp and direct. I don't think I'm that. Um, I am a bit relaxed and liberal, I guess. But I don't think it would be that one. Innovative and forward thinking, probably not. I would probably say playful and spirited. I don't know, but we'll go with that one. Playful and spirited. Depending on what mood I am, I can literally be all of these. Number three, give it a chance. Which would you rather do? Get comfortable in khakis, a collared shirt, and your cutest loafers. That's cute. Uh, put on a sleek V, sleek, put on a sleek V neck top and modern cut pants. Why does it say that? Step out in a fun floral dress or bright mixed prints. Throw on a pair of jeans, t-shirt with funky accessories. Grab your favorite jacket with interesting and unusual details to wear with black pants. Literally all of these. I would do all of these. Uh, okay, so let's rule out some that wouldn't. I wouldn't normally go for. So I wouldn't normally step out in a fun floral dress or bright mixed colors. However, I did wear this exact thing on my birthday last year so that's crazy but i wouldn't normally put that on um throw on a pair of jeans with t-shirt and funky accessories i would do that grab your favorite jacket with interesting image i probably wouldn't do that because although i do like all black fits i wouldn't normally go with an all black fit because not all blacks are the same so yeah that would actually very much mess with me so i probably wouldn't do that <clears throat> Put on a v-neck top and modern cut pants. I don't really like v-necks like that, so no. Um, so it's between, it's between get comfortable in khakis, a collared shirt, and your cutest loafers because I love, I love loafer fits. Like, they're so freaking cute. And I've recently been into like that exact style, so maybe. Or throw on a pair of jeans, a t-shirt with funky accessories. Just because I've been into this lately, I'm going to say get comfortable in khakis, a collared shirt, and your cutest loafers. Yeah, maybe. Okay, if someone gave you $500 for clothes, how would you use it? Buy a couple of outfits at J. Crew or Banana Republic. Spend it on a cashmere wrap. Splurge on anything that catches your eye. Add it to your accessories collection with a sloppy suede bag. Buy a dress that makes you feel smart and unique. Mm. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I I would, mm, I would probably either splurge on anything that catches my eye or add to my accessory collection with a slouchy suede bag because that's one thing I don't have a lot of is a set. Well, actually, I do have a lot of accessories, but like, a lot of my accessories don't match each other, which is why I don't wear a lot of accessories. But I would probably say splurge on anything that catches my eye because accessories can be in that. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, when you walk into a crowded room, what would you prefer to do? Blend in, be in control, exude power, be animated, seem natural and easygoing, make a statement. Probably seem natural and easygoing. 
Um, I don't really like all attention being on me. That makes me uncomfortable. So, <laughs> but I also wouldn't want to blend in because I, I don't want to be looked over. So, and I definitely wouldn't be animated because that's just not me. I'm going to be seen naturally easy going because that's pretty much my personality. So, all right, number six. When you have the urge or need to go shopping, you are more likely to do which of the following? Purchase practical basics for all seasons. That's probably it right there. <laughs> Buy high quality smart pieces that are sure to be in style. Get something with a splash of colors to brighten your day. Head to the flea market for some great lip in and funky finds. Um, find that unusual piece to add to your wardrobe that no one else will have. Probably purchase practical basics for all seasons. Yeah. What is your go-to coat like? Straight and sleek, sharp and powerful, perhaps poxy, romantic with a flared princess cut, an easygoing, flowy cape, edgy and asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. Probably edgy and asymmetrical. Well, question eight. When you flip through pages of fashion magazines, which is most likely to catch your eye? A Ralph Lauren lifestyle ad. That little black dress in the special occasion section, stacked bangles, a wide brim hat and denim, a story on the new designers from Tokyo and Belgium. Probably that little black dress in the special occasion section because I don't have like a go-to black dress. I might need one of those, you know. Number nine, which of the following best describes the decor of your home? Comfortable and traditional, think Ralph Lauren. Streamlined tonal with clean surfaces, Fun, kitschy, and unorthodox. Lots of rugs are toned and full of prints. Minimalist, architectural, and sculptural. Minimalist, architectural, and sculptural. That's a lot to say. Okay, and question number 10. What is your favorite handbag like? A tote with initials. A minimalistic tote and neutrals. That's it. <laughs> a leather tote with studs and embellishments or a pop of color. A backpack. Or a worn leather bag, perhaps with fringe, a black statement clutch, perhaps with python or alligator skin, a minimalistic tote in neutrals. I have so many of those. My style is chic. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> My dominant style is chic. Chic style is defined by a powerful look and sharp lines that seem to come together in, effort, in an effortless way. It is often monochromatic and combined with bold accessories. Okay, my combination style is classic. If you're classic, you like simple, clean, and traditional pieces. Okay, I can get that. You opt out for a timeless look because the silhouette and colors rarely change. It's always ladylike, classic, and often tailored. That actually makes sense because ever since I've been into fashion, I've leaned more towards that 90s type of fashion. It makes sense because, it, like they said, it's timeless. Um, you can wear it any type of decade. Literally, you can you can put on a basic piece and style that basic piece as if it was in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, up until now, and it'll still look good. So that makes sense as to why they would say that. Okay, so I did find a couple of inspiration pictures. Um, I'm not going to be recreating these looks. I'm just, it was simply for inspiration. Um, so here's my inspiration <laughs> for what um, I found. All of these styles are actually very, they're me, but I feel like I have to kind of put my own spin to it maybe. Um, it may be look, it may look more basic than what these inspiration pictures are. But I have some wheels turning in my head of ideas and um, I think I have pretty much every type of piece that I want to put together to make these um, kind of look similar. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not recreating these looks. I'm just simply using it as inspiration because this is basically what um, my quiz told me. And honestly, all of these styles, all the styles are similar. But all of these looks, it's something I would actually wear. So <laughs> I'm going to go look for some um, 
things to put together and then come back and then show you guys what I found and show you guys how it looked and this is actually the part that I love about um fashion and styling clothes is just putting it together because sometimes it looks good in your head and it doesn't turn out right when you try it on and then sometimes it's like yeah I knew this would look good so <laughs> like I said that's the biggest challenge but I think I, I think I can do it. So um, I'm going to go find some clothes to put together and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what I found and show you guys how it looks on me. So yeah. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back. Um, I think I found two outfits that would work for this aesthetic that they gave me. So um, for the first outfit, it's crazy because I was just talking about how I don't really like all black outfits and now I'm going to put on a all black outfit but <laughs> um it's technically not all black it has some white in it but um i'm gonna keep this top on and then i have these leather pants for the bottoms and then i have this little sweater cardigan or whatever you want to call it at the top and then i'm gonna pair it with these boots and a cute little um this is like the only all black bag that i really own but I'm gonna pair it with this bag. So I'm gonna go get changed and then show you guys what it looks like, how I feel about it, and yeah, so give me a second. <laughs> okay, so this is the first outfit. Not gonna lie, don't really like it that much. I probably rate it a seven out of 10, but as you can tell, it quickly turned into the all black outfit that I did not want, but it's okay. I didn't really like the white top with it, so I just went with this all black bodysuit underneath. The leather pants, I feel like they're kind of throwing me off. I don't really like them. And if I had a black pair of trousers, I would probably go with that rather than um, these, like some black slacks or something, but it's okay. So this is the look. Not that much of a fan. Seven out of 10. Okay, so for this next fit, I'm kind of excited about because I feel like this one's more like me, um, but we'll see. So I'm going with this brown tan sweater vest. And then this all white undershirt, long sleeve undershirt. And then, well, it's not an undershirt, it's a button down. And then this plaid skirt. I think it'll be, or I think it'll turn out good, but we'll see. I'm kind of worried because this is a plaid um, design. And then this V-neck right here has stripes on it. So I don't know how it's going to look, but... Oh, also, these loafers. So, I think it'll come together really well. So, I'm going to get changed and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here's the second outfit. And honestly, I already like this a lot better. If I had to rate it, it would be a 10 out of 10. Because this is definitely more like me. I was worried about the plaid and the stripes up here. But the colors mix really well. Um... Like I said earlier in my video, I've really been into skirts and I just apply a skirt. Chef's kiss. I really like it. Um, the loafers are really cute with the socks. And if I wanted to pair it with a bag, of course, I would go with a tote bag. Maybe not this one, but definitely a tote bag. Definitely gives schoolgirl vibes. Definitely gives that preppy, preppy feel to it. But I honestly like it. And 10 out of 10. So here's the finish look and outfit so yeah hey guys um this is the end of the video if you made it this far thank you for watching and thank you for helping me find my style my aesthetic um even though it put me in one category i definitely will still be wearing whatever i want because i wear whatever makes me feel comfortable but um it was fun to kind of just like <laughs> see what where i guess where my head was at with my style as of right now and honestly i'm not gonna lie it's crazy because i have actually been wearing more of stuff like that like for christmas the second outfit is something similar to what i wore for christmas so i really liked it and it really all came together in the end um but yeah wear whatever makes you feel comfortable wear whatever you like because it's your style it's your life it's your body it's your whatever so <laughs> you could wear whatever you want okay so um but yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I made a link tree now, so <laughs> I will link that down below. But I'll also put um, in text my Instagram and my TikToks as well. So, 
yes if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye